in the 1984 International Games for the Disabled, winning gold in the field event and bronze for swimming. Hello, Lisa. Hello. You're right. 1984 then? Yes, you I, was, I was a teenager. <laughs> uh, does it bring it all back now, seeing it, the opening it ceremony? It certainly does. I mean, I'd just like to pick up on what John was saying about the about the women's um, football. Yeah. I mean, I know within the table tennis um, kind of movement and tournaments, we are integrating more people with, with the hearing impairments to bring them in parallel. But, I mean, it's just a shame that, you know, th there's a prime um, competition and event there, and just because of the, the way of thinking and the way of funding, that they have to go elsewhere. Lisa, do you mind me asking you what your disability is? Um, I've got a condition called shark heart marry tooth. Mm. And what does that mean? It's a uh, muscle weakness. To put it in layman's terms, it's a muscle weakness from the shoulders and the hips downwards. And I mean, it's quite ironic because um, the month of September happens to be our National Awareness Week, uh, National Awareness Month, um, where we're trying to promote um, support information and guidership and leadership which kind of ties in nicely with all the paralympics yeah and absolutely support, it does everybody supporting um, and what i mean what what does your condition restrict you or prevent you from doing and what sort of help do you need to deal with it oh um i try to lead a full and active life as far as possible yeah um i have a team of pa workers who assist me with whatever I kind of ask them to do. Um, when I interview them, I say that anything you do in your house, you'll be doing in my house. And that's kind of how I've recruited my, my excellent team of workers over the years. When you say workers, I mean, these are support workers who oh, help support you. support workers, yeah. yes. And, and in your case, then, um, what, what sports were you able to um, take part in? I mentioned that you got gold in the field event. What does that actually yeah, involve? Um, club throw and that, that is an event that you'll see on the, the Paralympics. The, a club throw? It's a club throw. It, it's very much like a rounder's bat. Yes. And the event is put on for people who physically are unable to throw a javelin or if they throw it, it would be dangerous. Um, so it, it's a different technique completely um, and you, you'll see it if you're watching the Paralympics, that event does come up. Yes. And what was it like for you to, to win gold in that event, given the difficulties that having a disability gives you in your life? You know, to kind of get that affirmation, to get the, the sense of being successful in a physical event. What was that like for you? I mean, it's quite strange because my field event was my second event. Um, my swimming was my primary event. So, you know, to come out on top and come home with a medal, it was, it was surprising. It, it totally surprised me. Yeah. I mean, and was, and where, was, where was that? Where was that event held? It was in New York on Long Island. Oh right, and, and how did the facilities and the hullabaloo compare in 1984 with the Olympic Stadium and the Paralympics today? Hello, Lisa. Uh, yes, hang on a minute. If you take the remote off the table and press the right hand button, <laughs> no. No. All right, Lisa, thanks very much Hang indeed on, for joining. Oh, yeah. go on, go on, sorry. Uh, Hang on a minute. I'm um, sorry, I mean, we slept in university campus and it was very basic provisions, the, the, um, the standards of everything that's happening these days. It, it, it's massively improved. OK, Lisa, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Lisa Welsh uh, from Harborn. Uh, she competed in the 1984 International Games uh, for the Disabled, winning gold in the field event, which, as she said, involved uh, throwing a club and won bronze for swimming as well. So we're talking about the Paralympics.